All right. Well, I want to talk about agents. What are agents? Well, I think the future of the internet is in agents. Agent land, I call it. You can call it 3.0, 4.0, 5.0. I don't care how many points you have. The point of it is an agent is an intelligent piece of software that runs automatically. Facebook uses lots of agents. Google uses agents. Lots and lots of companies use agents. When you get a recommendation, a certain advertisement, for example, that's done by an agent. Uh, when you're in Facebook and it comes up with, you know, recommended friends or groups that you might want to join, those are agents too. I, I'm confident there are thousands of agents running, running on the internet all the time trying to figure out how to get you to look at this or join that or buy this product or uh, sign this petition or whatever. They're agents. They're programs that are running. And they have your profile, they know who you are and what you like and what you tend to click on and things like that so they can figure out, hey, you're probably going to want to go this way or that way. Well, if you follow this idea to its logical conclusion, what you get is an intelligent internet. Of course, we're not really using it for intelligence so much as we are to manipulate people, to buy a product or to subscribe to an idea. We're using it for vain and selfish purposes. If we can get out of our vanity and our selfishness, then we will use it for mutual benefit. We'll look at it and say, well, what should we be telling people about and what should we be getting them to look at if we want to make a better world? What's going to work for everybody? Those would be the right kind of agents. But they wouldn't be serving a company or a country or some nefarious purpose to manipulate public opinion. No. They'd be serving quality, what is good, wisdom. They'd be propagating wisdom, right? Always leading you towards the wise choice. But maybe the wise choice doesn't make money for anyone. Oh my God. For example, maybe the wise choice in the big picture is to consume less and share more. Oh my God, we can't sell things to people if we're having them consume less and share more. Well, those are the agents we need the most, the ones that tell us how to consume less and share more. Why? Because the earth is dying from pollution. What do you think global warming is? It's one symptom of global pollution. Mm -hmm. And the worst greenhouse gas is not carbon dioxide. That's probably the least damaging. There are chemicals that are global warming gases that are far worse than carbon dioxide. Far worse. And there are many, many chemicals in our environment that are far worse for us, health-wise. Pesticides, and hormones in our food, uh, all kinds of things. Drugs. So really, it, you know, we ought to be building a world where we get away from all that. We reduce the pollution in our, in our environment and we consume less because you have to do that. Because it's the production of things and the activities that we do, like driving cars, that produce the pollution. So it's very logical to say consume less and share more. When was the last time you saw an ad on Facebook or Google or anywhere? consume less and share more. It just doesn't, it's just not there, is it? Why? That should be there everywhere. You should see that everywhere. 10,000 ways to consume less and share more. That would be an intelligent agent. That would be like the wise agent, not the one that's trying to get you to buy something, but the one that's trying to get you to do the right thing for not just yourself, but everybody. Having a world for future generations is the right thing for everybody. Having a clean world is the right thing to do for everybody. 
but we're constantly trying to make a profit or trying to control people's mind or whatever. That's not the right thing to do. So we need the agents that will produce wise recommendations. Mutuality, not selfishness. Generosity, not greed. Cleanliness, not consumption. Reducing pollution rather than increasing it. Restoring the earth rather than killing it. But we're so busy making money, we can't stop to do the right thing. Now, there's an interesting thing about agents, and, and I've been following this for years because I want to write agents. I want to create agents. I want to create the agents I'm talking about here, the wise ones. And, of course, there's no money in that. There's no money in wisdom because wisdom is uh, not the thing that we buy. We buy foolishness. We buy Coca-Cola and Pepsi. We buy bombs and bullets. We don't buy peace and reconciliation, and, you know, broccoli and uh, asparagus, you know, we don't buy that, we, we buy that double cheeseburger with bacon on it, because it's advertised, and they know how to make it appealing, right? Anyhow, I've been following agent development, and there are many agents, and there have been some that have been open agents that you could just like open source. You could download the agent and use it, and uh, they always seem to disappear. The companies go out of business. They sell out. Microsoft buys them, or Google buys them, or somebody buys them, and they're gone. Oh, the agent technology is still there. The software is still there somewhere but it's not available for you and me. You see where I'm going with this? We need to have open agents. And that's what the Nodes Network is about. To develop open agents in the open so everybody can use them. The data needs to be in the open and the agents need to be in the open. Now I know people are gonna immediately say, hey, I got a great agent, I can make money with it. But you make money for the purpose of gaining an unfair advantage means that you get the money even if you don't deserve it. That's the way our system works. It's all about getting the money. It's not about doing the right thing. It's not about wisdom, sharing wisdom, recommending wisdom. No, that's not what it's about. It's about making the damn sale, convincing somebody to do what you want them to do. That's evil. That's not the right direction. So we need to create open agents that go in the right direction, that point the direction to, hey, go this way. This is the right choice. This is the right product. This is the right idea. This is the right politician. Not because I say so and I have money, but because we've come to some consensus about it. That uh, Together we have formed a consensus on what is the best product, what is the right way to deal with... Uh, you know, a, a certain health condition. Because there's lots of money to be made in expensive cancer therapies, for example. But there may also be other ways of dealing with cancer that aren't nearly as expensive. Maybe uh, growing your own cannabis and smoking pot, you know? I don't know. I'm not saying that's what, what the right solution is, but I'm saying there probably are cheaper solutions than the ones that we're using for many of our health conditions. And we should be recommending the cheaper solutions, but there's no money in it, <laughs> or very little money in it. So you don't find out about them. You find out about the expensive money solutions that somebody's going to make a lot of money on, because they can afford to advertise, you know, and they can afford agents to lead people to, to them. See where I'm going? It's all wrong. It's totally all wrong. We need to turn this ship around. And I think the way to do it is open agents, and Nodes Network is the way that I want to do it, in an open data quality discernment network. So if you'd like to help, come to nn.nodes.net or just nodes.net, n-o-d-e-s.net, and uh, join the fun. Have a good day.